Welcome back everyone. I'll go and show you exactly how to install GoodLock on a majority of the Android phones that pretty much can get GoodLock on them, like Samsung phones for the most part. Now, if for some reason you try to install GoodLock and it's not working, or your phone just doesn't get, allow you access to it for some reason, the main way to go ahead and do this is to download a GoodLock alternative, which is actually called NiceLock. Funniest name ever. I can't believe they actually came up with that. So pretty much all you have to do, and I guess there's other ones like Firelock or whatever, you know, you can download whichever one you want to, but essentially you go to your Play Store and you'll type in NiceLock just like this. Now when you do that, you can see I have NiceLock right here. So all you have to do is go ahead and install this application. So you can see I just installed it like this. And all you have to do in this example is to go ahead and open up NiceLock. And when you do that, you will see that NiceLock looks almost identical to GoodLock. So you can see they're almost identical and it's just an alternative. Now, what this does is it will, it's essentially going to allow you to download the modules that GoodLock also has that you can go ahead and install like this. So let's say you want to install Lockstar. Well, what you'll do is you go and click on Lockstar like this. It'll go ahead and tell you exactly the process of doing it. So we'll just go and show you right now. So we can go and click on open support thread. And it's going to take us to usually an XDA website. So now all you have to do is go through and download this specific file. So in this case, we'll just download the APK mirror file right here, and it'll take us here, and it'll go and tell us whatever this is. And all you have to do now is download the specific you know, one that we wanted. So you can see right here, here's Multistar. So we can go ahead and click on Multistar like this, go and exit out of the ad. We can scroll down until we see C available ads. We can scroll down until we see C available ones. And at this point, we can pretty much just download it. So we just want to download this APK file, and I guess it's going to take us back to the beginning. At some point, we're going to get a downloaded file. So all we have to do is download a file like this. Go ahead, and as soon as it's downloaded, you can open it up. And what we want to do is we want to install this specific file. So we're going to go ahead and allow this setting from the source or whatever. We want to go ahead and click install. And it's going to go ahead and install this module. And you can see I installed it. And that's pretty much the process for the most part. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.